Hello everyone. I hope that I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> uh, I had a little trouble this morning setting up the live stream and so I'm just gonna quickly take a look that I am and that'll give you all a chance to find me too um, just to make sure uh, come on. And of course my phone doesn't want to cooperate um, go here. But anyway, I had some trouble with Facebook. Um, sometimes it doesn't want to like the software that I use, but I just checked. That's all good. So, hey guys, happy Tuesday. There are a lot of things happening, changes. Um, October marks the first of the Stampin' Up! year. So we start over working towards a new incentive trip, and it's it's always a good time to kind of take stock of what's working and what isn't working, what I could do better. And so I've been studying, um, other, talking with other demonstrators and decided to make a change with the way I do my live streams. So every week I am going to bring a class to go to you. For one thing, this will help me use more of my stamps because every week I'm going to use a different stamp set or bundle. So I'm super excited about that. This week we're going to use um, North Pole Mischief, which I didn't want to need it, but I had to have it in the end. And um, so it's super cute. We've got a couple of des three designs we're going to make today. And um, you can get the pieces to make these cards yourself with a purchase between now and Friday night. So the way this will work, this class to go, you'll have all week to make your purchases. Uh, Monday through Friday, there will be a different blog post highlighting the different cards in the class and showing an additional two card designs as well. So um, I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. It's just gonna be a little bumpy in the getting there. So um, we have, oh my gosh, Things popping up over here. I should have gone to do not disturb and I, I forgot to do that. Um, and don't see any of y'all popping on just yet. And that's, that's okay. Um, but I'm sure you will soon. Um, another difference is that even though I'm live on Tuesday, this video won't go out in the blog until tomorrow. The blog post that goes out this afternoon is actually going to be for a stepped up card that um, won't be um, demonstrated in the video. It will simply be outlined in the blog post. So another big difference to get used to and um, and I'm sorry if that throws a kink in it. I'm going to throw some more of them at my team tonight. <laughs> so at our gathering. Anyway, all right, North Pole Mischief. Let's find this. Uh, so it is here in the July to December mini catalog here with this cute little puppy and this naughty cat. Maybe the cat's a little, maybe the dog's a little naughty too. I'm sure it is. That's the way it works in our house. We're actually going to case this card and then make two different ones as well. And I'm sure that I don't have everything I need out here, but let's, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, but you know what? Before I do that, I need to show you the extra the bonus card designs because this is going to go out in an email newsletter but i finished up the piece to you cards last night so this is a card class that you can sign up for um for 38 dollars shipped to you and it is using the piece to you stamp set and these are just gorgeous you'll get uh, 20 dollars in products with your class um, and then you'll make two each of these four designs. Now I haven't added any bling yet and this one still needs an inside piece um, but and this one needs some some bling but some really pretty cards using this um, this set so um, so that is the piece to you. There's also the soft seedlings class and these both have a written and video tutorial with them. They do not meet in person. Now, if you are in person and you want to come and make your cards here, you can do that 
on a fun Friday. But these are the soft seedlings cards. Um, that one has an inside piece that's not in there yet. I love this gray granite and all the different colors here in the leaves. So we're going to learn how to make those. Um, and then this one as well. So those are the soft seedling. And I think you've already seen the card club and the Christmas card class. You have until the 20th to register for any of those four classes. Um, the in-person class meets early. It meets this Saturday or next Wednesday. And okay, so here is our stamp set. Now this is a stamp set that does not have dies with it, does not have a punch with it. Hello, Judy. Oh, it's afternoon. It's already one o'clock at your house. Um, so your day's half over. Um, so this doesn't have dies, it doesn't have a punch, but it has some really cool things that we can do with it. Um, so we're gonna case that catalog one first. And I have to confess, I have already colored <laughs> one of these um, to save us some time. Because if we're gonna get through three cards, we're gonna need to be moving along. All right, so let me kind of lay this out. And I think this needs to go this way. And then, where are all my pieces? Oh, here we go. All right, that's our white. So this goes like this. And there should be. All right, that's the one I've already colored. I'm going to set that over there. We need that for inside, and I think, well, I'm reasonably sure that there is supposed to be another piece in here. There it is. Okay, there we go. So I have an extra one to do later. All right, so this is the one that we're going to stamp our... Um, image on and for this stamp set you really want to use a stamparatus um i always like to use i don't know i always like to use a stamparatus but this is a red rubber set and I, speaking of mischievous animals i have a cat trying to sneak into my office i guess i didn't get the door all the way closed um but to get this lined up where you want it and to um, make sure you get a good image, the Stamparatus is a good idea. And, um, oh my gosh, I gotta go close her out. I have forgotten how I had this lined up, but basically like this. And I stamped this in basic gray rather than memento black, just cause it's a little softer look. And then I cover, colored them with my Stampin' Blends. And you can see I've got a little piece here that didn't quite get enough ink. I think the rest of it looks okay. But I'm going to put a little more ink down here on her tail and just swing her back over. Now. I have a question. Good morning, Mary Ellen. Okay, so I have a question for you. I think that this looks like a ribbon and some mistletoe with mistletoe berries. So when I colored this the first time, I colored the ribbon. And then I thought that this piece over here was part of the ribbon. And then I've decided, oh no, it's the same shape as the mistletoe. So I don't know. Do you do you guys think it's this is that it is? Blah, blah, blah. Let me try that again. That it is mistletoe and just a two a ribbon on two of those little pieces. Uh, like I said, we're not going to color these all here, but maybe we will color the part that I'm stumped by. Oh my gosh, I have to show you something else too because we figured this out last night and y'all forgive me if you've already figured it out, but I just gotta grab something. Um, 
last night in our craft night zoom we were really stumped with what this little stamp is here and so I'm just going to take this little scratch piece of paper and show you what we figured out and someone in our group was brilliant enough to say gee maybe we should look at the um, at the catalog and see if there are clues there and sure enough there were and that block is way too big this one's better okay so let's see if I can line this up and show you what it makes and you know if you already know what it makes um, you can say oh Michelle why didn't you see that but and I'm not sure which piece you should stamp first so I'm gonna stamp this little one that's the equal sign and then I'm gonna stamp in real red the one so don't you just love I told you how we're you know need to not waste time coloring and then I totally derailed us and showed you something completely different I hope my head is not in the way but that might look at that it makes a present oh my gosh so I <laughs> might just have to remember that I don't know um, also, Mary Ellen, you're in Montana. I've been to Montana before. I had some work there um, and was there in May. And, you know, I left really hot weather in Tennessee to go out west and it snowed on me. But anyway, let's get that out of the way. And so I've taught you a little trick for today that this these two little stamps so one is right here above the top Scotty and the little equal sign right there. And they work together to form a little present with a ribbon. So, okay, back to our stamped image. Let's, let's take a look at this. And um, I think I used shaded spruce blend for that. And wrong reds and then real red okay so I did a little dark in that you know that middle part of the ribbon <laughs> do, I still want to do this too and expand things it's sometimes a Tuesday on a sometimes a Monday on a Tuesday I just I can't I can't decide I mean to me that looks like the shape of the of the ribbon but I feel like it needs to be mistletoe um you know and I just realized I could check the catalog and see how they colored it couldn't I because we are casing the catalog Oh, they did it all red. Well, now I'm really stumped because I truly feel like this is supposed to be mistletoe hanging over the goldfish, right? You're in the low 50s. Oh, we are going to get up to 80. So, of course, I'm wearing my sweatshirt, right? As I always do. Okay, going with that. So here it is, green. And actually, you know what? I have another one I've already stamped. Um, so we can look at it all red, too. Let me just pitch that one over there and do this little sucker like this. I left my cat on the one I colored. Um, pretty white this one anyway and these are small areas so I'm not worried I'm not trying to blend a whole lot although I recognize that where these all meet would be darker 
So there it is, all red. Um, and here it is, colored. I did add a little bit of gray, smoky slate, and then I used the color lifter to lift that out. Have you ever done that before? Um, let's take a second and I'll show you what I mean there. Smoky slate and a color lifter. Okay, so two tails and then the stem. So you think this is red, this is red, and this middle one should be green. All right. Well, I will play with it a little bit more. Um, but I wanted to show how I did this, this gray washout. So sometimes if you want to add a little, you know, not snow white to your images and do something like this um, with your color lifter. I did this on the Magnolia a while back and um, Petal Pink and just pulled the color, pushed the color around. So I'm just trying to push the smoky slate around a bit. It also tends to make this bleed, so I would have been better off not going quite to the edge. And the color lifter takes a little bit of time to react, but you can see how it just softens here, what that looks like. So, all right, now let's put our card together with the one I've already stamped and this is for inside, so we'll do the easy part first, right? Now normally, I am live on, on a Thursday at 9 o'clock Central. So now that I've decided to change days, I need to decide if I'm going to change times as well. And I think, I think I might. Okay, that is so crooked. <laughs> I'm sure I'm glad I did the easy part first. That works. And then we're going to put this piece down here. So this, I used a lot of designer series paper from different packs today too, which is really fun. So this is from the Gingham Cottage, I think it's called. So this is in the mini catalog as well. And there are... Guys, there are a few things that are um, not available right now. They seem to have sold out during the free shipping last, last week. Um, let's just see how, how this lines up. Okay, I like that. So the red is a little bit more narrow than the green. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm actually going to put this piece here. So I should have put down a silicone mat because I got adhesive there. I really only want a quarter of an inch to show. So this is a wonderful way to use your grid paper because that square is a quarter of an inch. And I cut it longer and then I can just trim it with my snips. Oh, thank you. Now, this piece is, I embossed it with a, a small embossing folder. So it was only three inches wide, but this is a little wider and um, and the dimensions will be in the in the tutorial but um so i ran it through and got this side then i ran it through and got this side um because it was too wide to get all at once and i didn't think there was another folder that i really wanted to use so um, sometimes you have to be creative right inventive 
maybe not so much creative as inventive. Oh, come on, be still. Am I still? No, I'm not. So this is all real red. Um, this piece of designer series paper is from the Santa's train. That's not what it's called. Um, in the mini catalog. Oh, look, Nala has come to visit the naughty cat. Gosh, that looks like more than a quarter, doesn't it? Or it looks like it has too much showing. So I'm going to try and pull it off. And this is going to sort of work. Okay. Um, I actually think I've got too much showing, so I'm going to pull down more. Okay. Somehow I wanted more of the of the green to show, but I kind of wanted those to be the same. Hmm. Well, I have a couple of options here. I can trim off. I don't like the green sticking out farther than the white. So I'm going to try and take that off. I do want it to stick out a little farther than the red. Not sure I can have it both ways. Let's see if that did it. But anyway, so cottage wreath, the Santa, and maybe it should go right side up, huh? And then this is from the Sweetest Christmas, the candy canes. Oh, I think that worked. And I'm going to do this one on dimensionals. Opened a brand new sheet of dimensionals yesterday. It has been design central for the last week here and then the next couple of days need to be all about tutorials, filming tutorials, and preparing class kits um, because if you place an order that qualifies for this kit then it needs to go in the mail next Monday. So it needs to be prepped next weekend. Well I have classes both Saturday and Sunday so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little little coordination needed. Um, let's put this right here. And two more things that we need. Let's add. Oh my gosh, I have the tiniest bit of white twine here. Um, I'm going to add a little white twine bow and then we'll stamp Mary Mary on a little narrow strip of paper and add that. So this card is on the same page as the stamp set in the catalog and so it's page 37. So we're going to put that there with a glue dot and it's hiding. And just put it right there and grab a little narrow strip and the Mary Mary. and a block and I think I might stamp that in garden green and grab that little bit of green there so um, oh my gosh that's too long that one's really long too I don't know how I ended up with these really long pieces just like so. 
very little whimsical. Merry Merry. And then snips. We're going to just put that right there. And there we are with, so there is the first card, okay? So you'll need to provide your own stamps and ink, but all the pieces, all the paper pieces will be cut and prepped for you. That embossing will be done. Um, so that is card one. Let's go to the second one has a sweet sorbet base. So it is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I already have the biggest mess over here. I need that template. So we're gonna be left, we're gonna end up with, with this. Okay, so I have to tell you, I thought it'd be fun to kind of make these look like our dog and our cat. Our dog has a lot of black, white, and gray. Um, so, and then we have a cat. Our long-haired cat is a is a ginger. So, um, I, don't, I don't know about those colors, but anyway, um, we need a piece. So this will go. Stripe side or dot side? I think I like the dot side. Like so. And then I have, I brought some ribbon over. I've lost it, but I brought it over. Oh, here, at my elbow. With this, el with this elbow, oh my gosh. With this ribbon threaded through and tie a bow. So super, super easy. This um, this label. Uh, let's see, I can't I can't finish sentences. I have this piece that I cut to go here. Have I ever stamped on the ribbon? Oh, <laughs> on this ribbon, on this organdy ribbon. Ooh, I have not. Hmm, Judy, I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, but I, I'm not crazy about my little orange kitty, so we're definitely gonna have to stamp him again. Nothing wants, everything wants to stick. It's like it's got a lot of static. All right, so I'm gonna get this one off the Stamparatus and bring in the puppy. And I'm off camera, oh my gosh. Some days are just a struggle. So what I did, I just stamped this down, you know, let this pick it up, brought it over, and then I took the negative of my label and worked it in here. Um, and then I just kind of lined it up Remember, I've got this hole that's gonna show, and I wanted to get, I'm okay cutting off that little bit of the ribbon uh, that the dog has, but I wasn't okay cutting out part of the cat's tail if I could avoid it. So I stamped this, put that there, and then inked up my stamp. And you know what, I'm gonna do this one in black. And let's see. Yeah, see, so his nose, or his nose, that's his ear. Gosh, I've forgotten my body parts. Oh, and I didn't get the cat's tail. And it's kind of funny because I can see. Okay. Try this again. I don't know if this dog's 
ear and spot to be really solid. And that's almost like it has a line in the stamp. It kind of does. Well, maybe it has something on it. So our dog is um, part black lab, part blue healer, and part border collie. So he's beautiful and very interesting looking. He has the size of a male lab, but he doesn't have he doesn't really have anything else that looks to distinguish him as lab. So. He's, um, he's a very interesting little fella. I'm going to forget where that is. I'll just go ahead and say it. I'll need it in a few minutes. My chamois. Alright, so now we have this here. And... We're not going to take the time to color the whole thing because I do want to keep this pretty short. Um, we'll go ahead and make this one with my little funny colors. And then I'll take some photos of some different colors and um, see if we like that any better. Now, um, I'm going to make a cheater bow with my ribbon. So it needs to be about that long and oops, I always want to thread it the wrong way so do you all have pets at home oh, come on just pulled that right through so we have three cats and this big dog and our gray cat is a male we have two female cats and a male cat and then our dog is a male. And the male cat and the dog are buddies. Um, <laughs> they take care of each other. They watch out for each other. They're quite funny. Um, and the two of the cats, the male and our ginger, are um, siblings. They're about a year and a half old now. <laughs> they, um, they get a little rowdy. And, you know, it's getting to be snuggle weather for cat with, you know, it's nice to snuggle with a cat in the winter, in the cold, but these little things get a little rough. Well, last night, the little orange kitty ended up sleeping with me last night, which was nice. We haven't done that since they were tiny because they wouldn't behave. All right, when we're just going to, it's kind of nice, these little dots kind of give us a the diamonds, they're not dots. They technically help us get that centered, right? And some scotch tape for the back. This is longer than I needed to make it, but longer is better than shorter. So you can see, this is a super quick card, um, but I actually think because it has so little dimension and interest that I'm going to pop this up too. Why not, right? I managed, that was kind of interesting. Now those two in the middle are pretty much just there for support. I don't need them to be sticky. Oh, Judy, that's amazing. Okay, so where can I find your music? Um, I'm going to be at a craft fair next weekend, and the Kentucky Headhunters are going to be playing. And I'm super excited about that. I love the Headhunters. I've introduced my friends to some of their music. I don't know that I really meant to turn that 
over when I did that, but um, it will coordinate, so it's okay, right? This side goes here. Not with that though. This is, like I said, Sweet Sorbet, which is an in color. And then we need, I'm just going to do a knot because I don't want to add a lot of bulk now that I've got all of these things on dimensionals. And I haven't added any bling to these yet. But. I'm gonna have to gonna have to mess with that a bit because I don't want it to hide too much of my slide it over and grab the actual ribbon scissors and cut this down and then let's add a we should tuck a little greeting on it too I think. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Let's stamp. Um, <laughs> you've been, uh, well, we've got a couple. We've got, um, hmm. I think this will work. You've been good this year, mostly. Now, with the red rubber stamp, not using the Stamparatus, I want to be sure that I figure out what my alignment is. That's what the grid paper is for. Because the sticker, well, this is kind of a, oh my, can't do that twice, I have a feeling. But luckily this kind of font kind of dances around, so that's okay. Um, that's pretty cute. I think it needs some, um, no. maybe some, maybe some iridescent rhinestones since we've used the uh, iridescent ribbon. I did clean off my desk a little bit before I started. I've kind of got this big area here to fill. Let's put those there. And actually, maybe even a third. Ah, I don't, this is not my strength. I guess second guess myself a bunch. That's amazing. Do we like a third one there? You're like, oh my gosh, that was just determined to dance over here somewhere. I think I'm going to put it there. I may have my own style of um, embellishing at some point. So we've added some bling there. We've got that there. So cute. All right. And the third card. Uses, we, we use a color other than red on this one. We actually have, or do we? Well, maybe not. I might have spoken too soon. This one, I love the way the coloring turned out on him. So this is crumb cake, real red, granny apple green. And I did that soft or smoky slate and I bled it out just a little bit. So that might be my favorite. And this is a bit of a fun fold. It's probably the easiest one because so this is four and a half four and a quarter by eleven and I just cut off half of it so two and three quarters and then I'm going to use that half to create this panel that goes this way 
Uh, <laughs> all right, Judy, well, you'll have to make it for her. And I love this. I brought in this fa la 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 paper. This is from that Santa Express something or other. Um, and I'm not even going to stamp this again. You, you've seen me use the Stamparatus, and um, I am happy to to show that anytime. But I feel like we can probably just build this card and enjoy it. Now, the one that I'm casing had paw prints all the way down here, and they poked out of the top of this part and the bottom. And I'm not sure that I like that. So I like the paw print idea. I'm just not sure that I want it to show until you open the card. I um, I played with a, um, a fun fold separating out like, the cat and the goldfish and letting like the cat be on top and oh, swing out and then the goldfish be in the middle and then the whole image in the center when it opens all the way out and it needs to be played with because it was really stinking cute. It did involve fussy cutting, which I don't mind a little bit of fussy cutting. I promised to make a dancing witch, I think today. There's a lot on today's plate. I think that's pretty good. And then so now you can always do this as much um, now the question is where do you line up this piece that's coming across so this would be like so And this is going to come here. And do you want it to come all the way out? I don't think so. I think it needs to be kind of part way. And if you did it like this, then you'd have room for the whole paw print down. And maybe that's what it needs to be. I don't like it peeking out, so maybe I'll do it that way. And then we'll stamp the paw prints running down the edge and actually let them show. And the paw print stamp is about yay big. So we'll just set that there. Won't turn loose of my finger. I think that will give enough room for that paw print to show up. So let's do some dancing paw prints. Now without the stamparatus, you know, I don't know that I can get as solid an image. Oh Lord, I think I got a little halo there. You can always take a marker or a blend and fill in on any that aren't dark enough. And then let me shut this. Okay, I like that. I like it better than I did just in the tops of them peeking out. And I also. 
also. Oh gosh, yeah, I, I do make multiples at a time. I think that, um, I have friends, I, Jude, my friend Judy said the other night that she um, can't, she's done after about six of a card. You know, if I find a card I really like, then I, I make a bunch of it. Um, and especially like for customer thank you cards and stuff, well, those are usually the same card. Okay, so happy gift wrapping season. Let's see how this guy stamps. That's kind of funny. The happy is happy is lined up. The others just kind of dance. I'm just going to kind of get this over here. So how cute is that? So fa la 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 la. Can't you just kind of see a little pet or a little you know? kind of taunting the other one with the singing the song fa la 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 <laughs> um anyway all right so here are the three cards that we made um the card kit that you can get with a purchase um i will send you enough pieces to make three of each and then the blog that goes out today, if you're subscribed to my blog, is going to be a stepped up card using this um, same stamp set. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we'll go into greater detail um, with each one of these with all the measurements. And you can order um, a $35 order between now and Friday. And then I will ship you the pieces to make to each of these. So thank you for, so much for being here today. It was great to get to know a little bit about you. And um, I will see you again next Tuesday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.